Payne Chevrolet. Nine decades, four generations, one tradition. Quiet on set, please. And action on rehearsal. And that's a wrap for the feature film The Life of Me, starring Danielle Nicola and Brian White, at least for the portion shot in Springfield, Tennessee. The project created several opportunities for Springfield residents and businesses, but for one man, it was a chance of a lifetime. Somehow in the process of assisting the film crew get settled in, Springfield's own Park and Recreation Director Terry Martin got discovered. In a sit-down interview with Smokey Bar News, Martin said he was showing the film crew possible filming locations when someone said, how would you like to play the part of the police chief in our film? Martin said he thought they were joking, but they weren't, and before he knew it, he was in a police uniform surrounded by cameras with people yelling out, cut, action, and print that. And Martin sat down with Smokey Bar News and gave us the rundown of what it was like to be a movie star for a day. So sit back and relax and enjoy this very entertaining interview, along with some exciting footage that we captured of the film crew while they were here in Springfield. Being uh, Robertson County and certainly Springfield's uh, newest movie star, uh, <laughs> tell us about what happened. Well, I'm still the Parks and Recreation guy, obviously. So. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm actually surprised to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are uh, they going to give you time off to do that kind of stuff now? Nah, no. So you're just doing it for fun now? I'm just doing it for fun. Right, okay. Because yeah, you're now a movie star. Yeah, no, I'm not really a movie oh, star. Oh, you're not a movie star? No, I'm not a movie star. Okay. <laughs> I suppose they paid you the big... Is that your Ferrari out front? That's my Ferrari out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, somebody drove me here, so, you know, oh, everything okay. changed. Yeah. They got on to me a little bit, too, up City Hall one day because, you know, I had the full police uniform on. Right, oh, yeah. And our scene was in City Hall. Uh-oh. Did you get searched? And I did not want to go through... City Hall was still operating. Right. It wasn't 430 yet. Uh -huh. And I just did not want to go through the front door right, right, down right. City Hall. So the scene was in Ryan's office. So I asked if we could come in the back door, you know, just so nobody would say, of course, right. You know, I caught a bunch of slack about that. Oh, yeah, you think you're so big now. <laughs> yeah. you, you get to come through the back door. You don't even have to. I was like, no, that's not what I meant. That's hilarious. I did not want everybody to see me in that uniform like that. So, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. No, I'm still the... I'm still Terry, the Parks and Recreation guy, and, you know, they just showed up to do the movie because they like to do a lot of movies here in Springfield, and right. we're, we're known for that. We're known for, for videos, different videos in Springfield, and, uh, you know, they just asked me if I would take them. Yeah, how did and, that happen? How did that, what yeah. were you doing, where were you when they found you? I was at the center, and the producers, three of them, showed up, and they wanted to look at some of our sites. They wanted to look around the rec center building because... They were wanting to shoot a scene inside there, uh, and they did. They ended up creating our little office space to the side. They created a hospital room in there. So one of the scenes is shot inside the center. Uh, they also wanted to see the Post 48 building. So I had them meet me out there at the Post 48 building, and I'm talking and having conversation with them and telling them all about Springfield and the Parks Department and stuff like that. And they came back the next day and they wanted to go back out to the Post 48 building and they wanted to look at that building again. I drove them out there, we looked at the building, we were leaving the building, and Joel, one of the producers, Joel, uh, he turned and looked at me and he said, hey, we've thought about this and we seriously would like to know if you would like to play, they said the sheriff, would you, would you be willing to play the sheriff in this movie? And I said, uh, sure, do I get a real gun? <laughs> and they immediately said no <laughs> so you know and I, I really thought they were just you know messing around and right. I joked with them and everything and they said no we're, we're serious we really want you to do this wow did they screen test you or anything uh no no they, they just slapped the uniform on and let you yeah, go yeah they just they asked me if I'd be willing to do it I even had my visor on you know I'm, I'm a hat guy so I right. had my I had my visor on and you know, everybody thinks it's one of those hats, those visors with the hair coming out right. of the top because I got so much hair. But, you know, and I can remember we went over to the police station. It may have been the next day trying to find a uniform to fit me for that scene uh, because they had some extras over at the police station. So we're sitting there. I'm trying on different sizes and everything. We finally find one that fits. And Chief has been great about this. The real Chief. Right. Springfield Chief. Jason, Jason Ed. Yeah. He's been, you know, he was great about the whole. Because you're a f a f taking his job. Yeah, he's real. He's real guy. <laughs> he's had a job. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So he, he was great about it. And, and he was very, very helpful. And 
we got the uniform and uh, uh, I get the uniform on and they look and they say, yeah, that'll work right there. And Joel, Joel sort of looked at me and said, now Terry, I need you to, he took his hands up and down like this, talking about, he said, I need you to, you know, try to fix this. And uh, I can't remember who it was that was down there. It may, may have been Jerry Long, may have been down there with us when I was getting the uniform. I can't remember who it was. But anyway, they said, yeah, you need to, look, you need to have the high and tight because I guess that's, you know, police issue haircuts high mm -hmm. and tight right. and uh whenever i came back that day to shoot that scene up here on the main street you know i didn't have my hat on have my hair fixed and joe was like whoa that was that was a transformation we wasn't expecting so but they said they were good with it yeah you look great in the shots <laughs> they, said they were good with it so that's how it all became that's how it all came about i was just trying to show them some buildings that they can shoot at inside the city and the parks department and next Amazing. thing. Next How did they give you your lines? Did they, did, they, did they give it to you in writing so you could practice at night or did they uh, just deliver it on the fly? How did they do that? Well, that's another thing that I was actually semi-prepared for this because I have had some situations in my life in the past where I have been put in a position or asked to do something and I would think that somebody would come to me and tell me this is how this needs to be done and this is what we need you to do and right. sort of prepare me for that moment. They didn't. So I have sort of learned that I need to get myself prepared for something like this to come up as, as much as I can. So they send out what's called a call sheet. So on that call sheet, it lets you know where you're supposed to be, at what time, and it also another sheet shows the lines and you just go down through there and you find your character and you see what their lines are Wow! and you have to practice your lines and you have to be ready for whenever they can whenever you remember any of your lines I didn't have many I didn't have many at all I mean the, f the first uh, six to ten words uh, when we pulled up at the building up here on Main Street, and I was in my do, full, do it like you did in the movie, and I was in my full uniform. Uh -huh. Well, before I before I do that short line, because they were all short. Uh, what what's even harder is is that you have to know where you're supposed to be and standing at what time. That's right. that's really even more important than you know sure. saying what you're what you're going to say. Uh -huh. So we were in two of the city police cars, and. We had to pull up in the city police car, and then whenever they reshoot the scene again, they would make us get back in the police car, and the mayor, the gentleman playing the mayor, was sitting next to me in my car, and I was driving, and right. they're brand new city cars. Right, I saw that. So they so back, they'll, they'll be like, back up 20 feet, and when we say action, you can hear them in the police car. When they say action, we want you to hit the gas and pull up real quick to the curb, hit the brake and jump out, and then we'll walk up and say our scene. Right. So on the so now you're a stunt man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> on the on the fifth time, on the uh -huh. fifth time, we get back in the car, we put it in reverse, we back up, and I'm sitting there, and the mayor asks me a question in the car, uh -huh. and I and I answer him. I can't remember what he asked me, and I answer him, and I'm we're just both laughing and everything, and they say action, and I hit the gas. I'm still in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I go backwards about 10 feet and the mayor's over here and he's just being, he's just sitting there and he went, oh crap. <laughs> and you just, I just had to slam it back down into drive. I told Jason Chief Head about that and he was like, oh my gosh, I knew I shouldn't have never let you get in one of our police cars. <laughs> so, so after almost killing half the, you know, yeah, players, right, yeah. then what happened? Pulled up. We both jump out. There's two of the actors that are in front of this building. And we, we, the mayor and I walk up to him and I say, Daniel, I need you to step aside right now because I have a search warrant to search this premise. I hand him the search warrant. Very well done. He steps aside. Unhockable. I can hardly wait to see you in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that, that was it on that. You're going to be like the primary reason people are going to want to watch this oh, movie. Oh, no. There, there, there's some. <laughs> what was your, what's your feeling about the production of the movie? You think it's going to be a good movie? Uh, yes, actually, it, it's it's crazy because when you're on set and you're seeing how things are happening, uh -huh. and and then we would have a chance to go offset and stand behind the producers where they were sitting, actually watching what was taking place on sure. the screen, sure. and you seen it on that screen, it looks completely different than when you're sitting there watching them live. Do sure, it. Sure, right, right. It, it's it's so much. I don't know what the word is. It's just so much cleaner. 
and it's so professional looking. Right. It, it, you know, it's just interesting how different that it looks. Uh, I, I was pretty impressed with the crew and their equipment yes. and the professionalism. I was, I was escorted in and I was allowed to see some of the stuff, you know, firsthand. Yeah. And it was a first rate, you know, first rate film crew, I thought. Yeah, and, and a lot of their Very films. Very friendly. Yes, extremely. Probably one of the most friendly, if not the most friendly film crew I have ever encountered. By far. Because I've been chased around town, you know, yeah. to, you know, because they don't want my cameras there, you know. I didn't get any of that with these people. It was just, you know, we, we want the press coverage. Yep. You know, thank you for coming. Yep. You know, here's where we're going to be. It was very well done. By far, they very were friendly. they were extra. I've, I've never experienced any other, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Mm -hmm. But I can't imagine it being any better than what they were. The whole time you were in production, did you have at least one person bring you a bottled water? Uh, yeah, wow. actually, I did. <laughs> yeah, I, now, I, you know, I'd done my homework because uh, the the first call sheet that came out. Uh -huh. It had my name down there, and then it had Chief Waddell next to it. It has who your who your character is, and then it would it would have every time like uh, it would say S W, mm -hmm. and then at nine o'clock it would say H M U slash W, and then you know it would have something else for other initials, and I knew they were not going to tell me what that not not that they didn't want to it's just that it's their everyday life right they're they're not thinking about you know we just pulled this guy out of the parks and recreation department right, right, right. so we're going to send him a call sheet he'll know what to do everything will be fine <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. and uh so i go i'm googling what the initials mean and i'm trying to Very, find out yeah. this information wow, okay. so when that call sheet came out i picked the right guy sw start work that's what that er, everybody on their first day it had sw start work if on your second day, it had just a W for work. And then on your last day, it had uh, WF, work finish. So you knew that you were you were mm -hmm. done. You wouldn't have anything else to do. And they, hair, they, makeup, it was HMC slash U, hair, makeup, costume slash wigs, uh, slash W for the wigs. So, you know, you had to be at that certain time to get makeup. And it was just, it was really, really interesting. Did you get intimidated? They had a few names in this movie. Yeah, they did have a few names. Uh, no, I did not get intimidated only because I was I was so, I did not want to be the one that screwed this movie up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, because, you know, even though it was me doing it, I still felt like I was representing Springfield. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do, or even the whole Robertson County for that matter. Sure. So you're representing us all. Yeah. I mean, I want, <laughs> I didn't want to, yeah. So I did want to, I didn't want to be the so guy. So after crashing the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrecking Chief's car is okay. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Don't screw this movie up Why is Terry. the Chief walking? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a great experience. I don't even remember what your question was. What was your question? Uh, well, were you intimidated working oh, with some of the names? Yeah. No, they were great. They were all great. They just, they, they were there. It was business. You know, it was work. You're lucky they didn't change a script and turn it into a romance or something. Well, listen. You're now in love with her. Yeah. And they, they, <laughs> they did change my script. Huh? The second scene we done was in the mayor's office. Uh -huh. uh, and where'd they shoot that? Well, I was in Ryan, city manager, Oops. Ryan uh -huh. Martin's office. Right. So they set that all up to be the mayor's office, and uh, that the young man showed up, and he was the one planting drugs for us. Oh yeah, yeah. You know the whole deal. So, uh, but they changed everything in that in that, and whenever we got into that set, you know they added uh, two drinks, uh, and the mayor and I we we had to pick up these drinks now and they had us laughing like evil laughing because of we so were, you're a you're a dirty cop in this I, thing yeah, yeah i'm a dirty cop in this thing yeah <laughs> that's exactly right so it, it, they changed a few things and and i was real nervous on the inside about that because again i just did not want to screw this up but they're you know it's funny because you got like 12 or 13 people and they're all within two feet of you oh yeah you sure, know yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everybody's just right right there so and they're looking for shadows on the walls, making sure everything's set up right before you even get going. Then they let you walk through it a couple times. Like if the mic that come overhead, you know, they'll look in the camera and say, lift that mic or move that mic. We got a shadow on the wall over there behind it. So it was it was interesting to hear all that and hear how There's it all, a whole lot you have to think about with these productions. Crazy listen, stuff. Those guys behind the scenes, 
they work. They work because there is so much going on. Pulling these lights in, you know, to get the light right. You only got so many minutes left because the sun's going down when you're right. outside. And you got to make it look like this because they just shot a scene yesterday at four o'clock. So today you got to be there at four o'clock and get ready to shoot that second scene so it matches. Right. It, it, there's there's a lot of stuff that goes into it behind the scenes, and all you know, we get a little bit of makeup put on and. They tell us to jump in the van. They take us to the set. What was in the glasses when you drank? Uh, iced tea. Iced sweet tea, tea. yeah. Made to look like? Bourbon, I guess. Uh, yeah. And yeah. so you had to do an evil laugh? Yeah. Let's see it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. It was just, it, it was just you know, one of those How many things. takes did it take? Uh, they, they do it. Now, this I don't understand about how this works, but they'll do... They'll do it over and over again, mm -hmm. not because somebody has messed up. Change camera positions? Because they change camera positions. Right. Yeah. Like they'll do close-ups on everybody, and then they'll do this angle, and then they'll... Right. Then know, they go later and they pick what they want. Yes. That all happens in the editing room. Yes. You like know, the I like it better from here. Or in or in. Yes. So they have the people that pick it on the fly that are filming it, and then you have the people that pick it in the editing room. Yes. And so... Because you had, you had uh, one scene, the mayor was in front of the desk. Right. The camera's facing him. And he's talking to Z-Boy, and then the next scene, you know, the, the camera's behind the mayor looking at Z-Boy while, right. but you're doing the exact same thing. So you're doing everything probably six, well, we were on set three, four, five hours on every one we done. And whenever you watch it in a movie, it's probably going to be like. Get a little tiring? It's going to go like that. Uh, the first day, whenever I was the police officer up here on the, on the, on Main Street, mm -hmm. that that did. I found myself stretching my legs because you just don't think about standing in one spot for that long. Yeah, making movies is harder for the actors than I think people realize. You have to, you have to get used to it. I, 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 I'm sure you just have to get used to it. But my favorite scene was right over here. Was uh, in the alley. You know, the that's right. And I think we have you sent us some. We have some stuff from there. We're yeah, show the, people. the last one that we done, where we were all sort of incognito. We were. I was in a black hoodie and black pants. Mm -hmm. and, Everybody and we were meeting, meeting one of the actors, right, right, Doing changing something. some money out and right, stuff right, like right. that. That was I didn't have any lines in that. I just had to be there. And the mayor don't touch the money. He don't get his hands dirty. So I had to grab the money and check it and look at it and look at him and give him a nod and let him know everything was good and and uh, we could move on from there. So that that was an, I enjoyed that. That was good. So that is that your best memory of it all? What did you walk away with? You know. That I do not want to do that for a living. Mm -hmm. uh, that would probably be a hard life because, you know, the the main actors and actress they were in Nashville and hotels. You know, you live out of a hotel. You're waiting for the call sheet. Of course, they're they're probably in because they're in more scenes than what I was in. You know, they're probably staying busy every day, not not just sitting around a hotel waiting. So you see movies now. You see them differently. Oh yeah, hundred percent. 100%. I've, I've already been at the house watching stuff, you know, and thinking that camera guy's right there on that side. And, <laughs> you know, he's facing this way, but all of a sudden in a, in a click, he's face the camera's facing the guy talking the other side of the room. You understand the mechanics. I, I know how, I know how it's set going. it all up, film over here, and yeah. then they move everything on the other side of the room and film it all from there. Yes. You know, and. And, and, and to know that you don't have to. You're not going to shoot a scene where you're speaking and you have to know your lines for a solid hour. Does that make sense? Like, like if you have 400 words you have to remember over the course of the film, you don't have to know all 200 of them in that one, on that one set. You've got Bec tons of people backed up on everything you're doing. Right? Yes. Hundreds of dollars yeah. an hour. Yeah. You screw up your line that adds yeah. to the bill, right? Yeah. But you're only gonna you're only gonna you're only gonna say 20 words in that line, and then they're gonna cut. And then they're going to go to a different angle or something. And then you're going to say the next 20. And then you're going to say the next 20. You know, you're not, whenever we watch a show and we see a conversation going on between, you know, two people in the movie, you, 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 you think that the guy's sitting there filming that entire two hours straight. And they're doing that for two hours straight because that's how the movie portrays it. But really, whenever they're shooting the movie, it's not like that. And you never got nervous. No, I did not get nervous. That's, that's incredible. That's the crazy thing. I did I'm not, not. I think I probably would have flipped out a couple of times. I didn't Looking at all these people that if I screw up my line, you know, they're going to be working there another hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, man, if Maybe I can't. Maybe if I had told that to you, you would have got nervous. Yeah. By the way, if you screw this up, it costs some thousands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe did ask me, 
the day of my and I was still because you know I'd be at work and they they would come into the center every day for breakfast and lunch. That's where they ate at. So they would all see me down there. Uh, but Joe asked me one day. He said uh, he said you know your lines and you know he never he never sent them to me. They just they came on that sheet and I was like yeah I'm, I know. Did you, I, did you? I know all six of my words, man. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> did you work during your normal work hours? Yeah, I only so how had. So your, you know, how was the city about giving you the time off to do it? I had to take my, vac I had to use vacation time mm -hmm. for, there was, there was, was it the second shoot? No, it was the one we did over here. But they were good with it, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. So instead of. Ryan's your boss, right? He is. So he was all good. Yeah. It, it seemed like I heard him talk somewhere. He was very supportive of everything they were doing. He is very supportive of it. You know, not only mainly because of what they bring to the city. You know, I think he's, they spent a lot of money. He, yeah. He's been on record saying how much they thousands went. of water. You yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's a good thing for the city. Plus there's going to be a movie out there that's going to show the center, all the scenes at the center. Sure. Uh, at, at our park, you know, all these different areas uptown on main street, people can actually watch that movie and go, man, I, I, I walk right there. Or I, I work out down there. Or, right. I, I know where that place is. So mm -hmm. that's always cool, I think. I think it's great for the city of Springfield. Yeah, certainly so. um, good for all the local businesses. Oh, yes. Yeah, because they what, ate. What, what they, they ate, yep. right? So food, yep. water, lots of water. Lots of water. What else? What am I forgetting? All kind of snacks. There snacks. were There were snacks. Snack people. Yeah, snacks were everywhere. Every, snacks. Every area, if you were in hair and makeup or you got done there and they sent you over to the uh did they lose did they use any local hair people they didn't do no they brought them but in. they did use local food like restaurants and stuff like that yes i guess they took turn catering them in uh the the one that i seen the most was uh forgive me if i say this wrong is it at Ray's? did i say that right Array, yeah they're i think they're new on the square they are though the, yeah. they i seen them the most at the center uh -huh. catering the breakfast and lunch they're pretty conveniently close there. yes and i think they even shot some scenes yeah inside. they did and we have some footage of that oh, okay good yeah yeah so they shot some scenes inside that restaurant also yeah good so yeah they were they were great to work with and you know there was some there were some pretty big names i guess i went back and looked at some of the folks i had my picture taken with just because they were in this film and i right. looked i looked them up and i'm like wow yeah they had some pretty big names yeah done some big stuff Thanks for taking the time to share us your experience. It's fascinating to hear. I love it. I think everybody dreams about, you know, being discovered on the street. And, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, hey, you never know, you know. And, and there was a lot of people that we used from this whole county, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. That were extra. No, I have friends that are in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, isn't that great? I think that's great. There was 100 or 150 that did the parade scene. That's right. Yeah immortalized for all eternity that's that's something to be like able to the say last that. days of uh, frank and jesse james that was shot there around the square yep that was a big movie um yeah and uh, we have a very rare you know clip from an old news report from that scene so you could see all the behind the scenes stuff there it's pretty incredible so it's, it's awesome. yeah robertson county certainly because of the rural and the sort of untouched yes historic nature they come here all the time i've covered i've lost count of yeah. how many different films I've covered but again thanks for you know sharing it with us very I generous of you and uh, appreciate you asking me to do this next time you you know as your career progresses um, yeah but um, it's not keep us safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not I'm, I'm, I'm back to parks and recreation full-time so and I love it you know you already know that I, yeah. I love but you do a great job I with love that what as I well. do I love what I do there. Yeah. So, and I just, a door opened for this and I just walked through it just to be able to say one day that, you know, either I completely destroyed this movie that they were making in Springfield or, hey. Let's just hope you don't end up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You may never see me. That's exactly right. I may not have anything to do with this film. They're, they may have cut all of that out, but uh, who knows? I don't think so, but. I've seen the clips. There's no way they're cutting you out. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I think it's supposed to come out in Easter. That's something yeah, that I, I heard. heard. Did, yeah. did they so, tell you? No, yeah. I, I, I haven't heard. I, I'll have to ask. But yeah, Easter, that's a good good time. Not too much time. Yeah. That was, that's going to be fun. I can't yeah. wait to watch it. All right. So. Well, again, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for all you do. Well, thank Everything you. Everything you do for the whole county, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. You get all it right. out there. I appreciate it.